So today, what we're going over is the new FMK AG1 Glock style frame. Now this is a great alternative Glock style frame. It's made by FMK Firearms. I haven't found a whole lot on them. I stumbled across them because I'm part of a member of sportsmansguide.com and they had them on sale for 65 bucks. I'm looking at probably buying another one because the Glock prices during this pandemic are so stinking expensive. I'm not paying $200 for a Glock frame when I can pick one of these up for half the price. Now this is a Glock 19 frame and when you look them up, they say they're a Gen 2. Now they do not come with a locking block here. My locking block I have, believe it or not, is actually a Gen 3 locking block. Here's my locking block I've taken out of it. As you can see, I marked 19 on it. And as you can see, you can see the holes where the Gen 3 would actually, the pins for the Gen 3 would go through there. This is the locking block I use in this frame. So uh, one of the reviews I read on them was that you it's they claim a Gen 3, but they're not Gen 3. As you can see, I'm putting this back in. So this is how it turned out. That is a Gen 3 locking block. No issues, right? Gen 3 slide, and this is the tried and true rock slide that I've had from day one, Glock 19. I've got suppressor height sights on it, as you guys can see now. And we do have a, hopefully have a red dot coming for this a little bit later from a really great company. I'm excited to try that out. That is a combat armory slide. I will go over that a little bit later. I'll leave a cookie right up here or look in the link to description for a video on that when it comes out. It does work just fine on a Gen 3 slide. No issues there. This is the rock slide we've used from day one with Glock builds. Locks up fine and it works fine as well. Some of the issues I have found with this FMK frame is magazines. Now it's not all magazines. This is a Magpul magazine. It drops fine. Magpul. Here's an ETS. It drops fine. Here's a KCI. Uh, you guys know I'm not a big fan of these mags. It drops fine. Here's an MN2. It drops fine. I do like the look of that MN2 mag with the little extra finger lip right there, finger groove. Makes it look a lot, look, makes it look cool. And last but not least, it's a Glock mag. It does not drop for you. Now, I've seen some remedies you guys could do with this if you wanted to. To me, it's not a big issue. There's enough of a lip right there. I can pull it out. Or I'll just use my PMAGs for them instead. Uh, the remedy you could do that I've seen people do is put tape on these, cram them in here really tight, and then heat these up and then soften it up. Another thing I guess you could do if you wanted, you could see where it was rubbing. You might file some of that down, take a file and just lightly rub it down. Maybe a piece of sandpaper, uh, your choice, whatever you wanna do. All right, so let's get this FMK AG1 frame with these two slides out, see how it functions. Ran fine. All right, we'll run some more. Fine. All right, we're gonna try another slide. You guys may have seen this slide on the uh, few other videos. The sexy, isn't it? Oh yeah.
USA. And short barrel. Lock neck. IMAC balls. So far, so good. FMK AG1. See what it does. Ran. We're gonna use that second amendment mag. I like how that looks. This is the custom built Glock 19 FMK AG1 frame. Really happy with this. Uh, I'm probably gonna order another one and build me another Glock because uh, I have another slide. Um, pretty happy with it. The combat armory slide, like I said, if you guys are looking for a cheap combat or looking for a cheap slide just to get you through, $128 with the coupon code TAKE15 off will get you this and ship for free. The barrel and the sides came from AIM. About 60 bucks, 40 bucks, 100 bucks for the sight and the barrel. Uh, the upper slide completion kit came from AIM as well. So it does work. You guys can use a Gen 3 locking block. Um, I would say go to sovereignguns.com or sovereignarms.com. You guys can find them on Gun Broker usually. Just search a gun broker. They're like, yeah, 25 bucks for one of these sent to you. That's what I'd recommend doing because um, it's not going to come with this. You're, it's a strip frame just like normal, just like a regular Glock. You're still going to need these parts, these components. Uh, I do like that it does have a rail up here. It's very nice. You can attach certain things, lights, lasers, whatever you want. Uh, but you are going to need a locking block. You are going to need a lower completion kit to complete this. If you guys like what I've said, give me a like, subscribe. Feel free to share this on any social media out there. If you guys want to follow me on social media, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Full30.com, GunStreamer, and right here on YouTube. And thanks for shooting the breeze with me. We'll see you next time.